It's your boy Warlow back with another My Team video. And we are going to review Greg Popovich coach card. We are going to review him. And I'm going to go over if he's worth it. I know a lot of us been grinding it. Is he worth using? Because I know no one really went over. You know, is Greg Pop worth it as a coach? Is he worth like bringing to your line? Is he worth like winning? Because you have to win a game each day. And then it adds, uh, I think it's 15 days total i don't know but yeah great popovich if we look at his boost right now let's go to 13 team let's go to my main team so we look at great popovich right here where is he dark matter coach okay so he boosts low ball post defense iq on ball defense by six lateral quickness block steel and shrimp like he boosts all of those things plus six which that is good shrimp boost is actually really really good because especially you just got bowl bowl that boost is gonna be really really good because you can get bowl bowl 84 shrimp give him a shoe 88 plus the coach that's a 94 shrimp for bowl bowl if you got wimby that shrimp is like um 92 i got it to a 96 with the boost i mean 99 almost with the boost i mean like i feel like a lot of players actually benefit i think that's one of his best boosts because look kd kd has an 84 shrimp add him up 84 plus 6 is 90 plus 4 make him a 94 like okay you see what i mean like that shrimp boost in my opinion is a huge boost in my opinion i think that's a great boost right there personally i think that's good and plus 6 the block rating let's look at bobo's block he may already have a high block rating personally speaking probably does most cards do but this probably will help is the point guards. Like at point guard, probably like Shaw. Is he a high block rating really? 89. So that gives him up to 96 ish. So the, the block rating is nice, probably for your point guards. Like let's look at other point guards, for example. Look at other point guards. I mean, a lot of shorter. And I know Shaw, what's his block rating? 90. So even though I feel like a lot of the point guards this stage in the game already have a block rating, there is some that have a lower block, but. Plus six block ain't bad as a boost. I don't think that's bad. On ball defense IQ that doesn't matter. I don't. I don't. I don't even. Actually, yeah, it does. What I'm talking about. Actually, that's on ball defense IQ. Yeah, it does. It does. Plus six to on ball defense. Right, our perimeter defense. But on ball defense IQ. Let me see. Where is this at? At does that do anything? I don't know if that does do anything. On ball is that on ball or all ball IQ? I can't even tell. Can't even tell what stat that would even fall under, personally speaking. Help IQ is like a 92. Oh, let's not worry that much about it. Lateral quickness plus six. I know Ty said before, back in the day, like, lateral quickness don't mean much. But I feel like it does. To a certain degree. I feel like lateral quickness does matter. And speak. I remember he died. I remember watching him. He said that green machine don't matter. But then I, I see like green machine activate. Mo like it activates a whole lot so i i, I disagree with it uh, but just personally in my opinion but lateral quickness boost is actually let me look at what is miles turner lateral quickness as an example 90 so you need a lateral quickness boost i think that isn't bad i don't think that's bad boost now what you're losing is speed acceleration because a card like mike dan and tony right here where's mike dan and tony on the suns he gives ball handling speed shot free I mean, that, those are huge boosts you're not getting with this. So keep that in mind. You're not going to be getting those boosts because missing out, like even Sabrina, coach, where's Sabrina? Sabrina gives a plus 10 to three pointer on her boost. And that is actually impactful. If you have a player like, I'm trying to think of a center. If you got a center like Mark Eden or a center like Yale, 10 plus three points would be huge. Like if you got tall centers in your lineup like these players, then low key, unless you're good with shooting, then. Great pop isn't a good idea because their free ball isn't going to benefit, which you might miss more in the process. But we're going to go into a, let's see a domination game. We're going to see what takeovers they give the cards. Because what I'm hoping it doesn't do is make his everyone's takeover defense, which if it does, that would be bad. Because I personally do like the couple things, like you mentioned, the block, the steal. Even the steal rating is actually a huge one. If like, I don't, how many, what's steal rating? I mean, you know, Glenn Rice, for example. Glenn Rice is like, what's his steel rating? Steel rating, I can't even find it right now. 92-ish. 
I know Wimby. What's Wimby's steal at this point? I don't know. 92. Everybody, everybody already has a high steal. For the most part. Even KD from three months. Are we, everyone already has a main steal. But we're going to go into a domination game. We'll see like what the takeovers are. So bro, I'm like frozen. So let's just go into a current domination. So we're going to go into any of these. Let's go into this. And let's see what takeover. If you wonder how to look at takeover, you press LB or L1 on your Xbox controller. Because we looked at the boosts and the boosts, some boosts are good. Okay, I actually really do. Because I feel like that, though, though, like I said, those shrimp boosts is huge. That's a huge boost. That is, a, I can't say it enough. Like that shrimp boost, it, it matters so much. So we're going to look at the takeover real quick on this. And we're going to look what takeover. Okay, I think I look on defense or offense. I don't know how it works. So, Wimby keeps Sharpshooter for the most part. Miles Turner gets Rim Protector. KD Bobo gets Finishing Badge. Like, I picked the right lineup. Make sure I picked the right lineup. I want to make sure it doesn't change your takeovers. Okay, Rim Protector. KD still got Sharpshooter. Glenn Rice. I mean, I'm looking. You, I mean, I saw one of my chats said, like, it changed your takeover. I'm not seeing it. Like, I'm looking at it, like. They look like they still keep their same takeovers they previously had. They previously had, personally. I mean, I'm looking at... I know, I know you told me they change it, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's because I'm on a, an offline game. I don't know, but... I'm not, I'm not seeing it in the offline game. I'm putting my bench in real quick. Let's see if I see anything different. Let's see if they change any take. I don't know if any coach changes the takeover. Finishing on LeBron is normal. Finishing on LeBron. Rim Protector. Ja has finishing. I'm basically seeing everything looks about the same. I mean, I'm just making sure it does it because I know sometimes coaches will change takeovers. And I feel like you could just give the player a shoe and it'll fix the takeover. So I just wanted to keep that in mind because I heard that. And it doesn't look like it's true. It does, it does, it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's true that your takeovers change. Because I thought that was the case, but I mean reviewing it. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it changed your takeovers. I'm just being honest. It doesn't, it does, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're going to, I'll real quick, we'll just go with Mike Dan and Tony, and we'll see if they exactly the same. Rockets, because that used to happen where if you change your coach, then it might give you a lot of defensive takeovers, but, because that is something that could occur, which we want to make sure that doesn't happen, because that'd be bad. Imagine you have like, a team of just all defensive takeovers. That would just be really bad. Really, really bad in a game that doesn't really play like defense 24-7. So let's check his boost. Rim protector, sharpshooter. I mean, I'm not seeing nothing different. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing different. And there's nothing. I'm seeing the takeovers are exactly the same. So you're not it doesn't like you're gonna lose anything. Cause I feel like in this review, make it sure. And I think Great Pop might be my coach. I'm being honest. The plus six strength, I'm being really honest, I like personally. And I think it's going to be really, really good. But plus, let's see, Yao Ming, make sure. Rim protector finishing, but yeah, for the most part, it looks like same takeover, same everything. I think he's going to be my coach. I'm probably going to give Bobo a plus six. Sure, I'm missing out on speed a little bit, but players already have speed at more, like more, most players have speed at this point. Most players have speed, so I'm looking at right now. I'm saying it's worth it. I can go into like 88, 88 speed, 90 speed for the most part. You're missing out on that speed, but yeah, I can give a shoe, give him 98 speed. You know what I mean? Like even Shigella, Shigella's has speed wise 97. Do I really need to waste a whole coach on speed? I feel like shrimp is better. I for, the, for, for, for what for my lab, but if you have a center like Bobo, who a lot of y'all purchase, I think it's worth it easily. He needs that shrimp shoe at center or power for if you're going to use them. And we'll go into TTO game real quick. We'll make sure the takeovers don't get infested real quick. And we'll go in for a quick second. I'm probably not even going to finish the game. I just want to see and make sure because I don't want to like tell y'all then you go into a game online and yeah, now like you go into a game and then you go in. And then you see, oh my god, my takeover changed. So let's go check in the game. And if you ever wonder how to get sharpshooter on your player if they don't have it, they have to have a high free throw and a high 
They had to get a boost of a high free throw. So Wimby still got Wimby got sharpshooter with great pop, which is actually fire. We, yeah, if you got Victor Wembanyama, he gets sharpshooter with Vic with uh with great pop. Because sometimes I don't know. I I, I know Wimby. I know Wimby like depending. On, I know I know it does changes sometimes. Because like I had another coach in, and Wimby had rim protector instead. So. I do know it does. I I do know for I do know for a fact that the coaches does have an impact. But as we see, I got sharpshooter in game with Gray Popovich, and it's look it's looking like I said this coach is worth it. But we're gonna go back to the main menu. We just wanted to look at that real quick, and yeah, and real quick I didn't show, but just to make sure we can see it in game. Look, Katie got 90 strength. He got 99 lateral, 88 block, and high steel. I mean, Wimby, Glenn Rice, they all got the boosts as well. So it's working. 96 strength. I feel like that, that I feel like that's great. But this time we're gonna go back to the main meet for real. And yeah, this clip. Like, look at me. Look at look at uh look at KD. Like, okay, KD guarding up with that six plus. Like he's trying to back him down. He can't. Like that plus six strength does help. It does help. Like easily does make an impact easily. And it just it just does. It just makes an impact. So I personally, I said, I personally, right now, I think Greg Popovich is a good coach to add to your lineup, depending on your team. If you have a team of low strength, I feel like his impact is actually important, really. And I think, I feel like this coach is worth grinding for. I feel like he is. If you have Mike D'Antoni, you may have a speed. But I feel like for the strength, for the block, I think those are important ratings. And let me make sure to change. Wait, I'm on the wrong lineup. Let's make sure to have it. Make sure we have it. Okay, change that back, but if for what it's for, he's a solid coach personally. But yeah, I feel like he's worth it, and I feel like he is worth getting. But see y'all next my team video. Hope this video helped, and give me a key.